Hi everyone. I'd like to begin today by reading a small excerpt from a New York Times article about music and medicine and pain. Uh, it's talking about Dr. Peter Jockel, professor of orthopedics and rehabilitation and sports medicine at the Yale School of Medicine. And uh, here's a little story that I'd like to relate to you all. Dr. Jockel's first music injury patient was then New Haven Symphony conductor Murray Sidlin, who suffered from debilitating shoulder pain. Quote, he came to me a number of years ago and thought his career was over. I approached him as though he were an athlete. Do you do any training? I asked. Yes, I conduct, came the reply. I gave him a set of exercises which included swimming. Three months later, it was like revelation, end quote, he said. Uh, that's just one example of how so many of us don't take our physical preparation seriously when it comes to the instrument. Playing our instruments are just a big physical strain on our bodies, you know, especially for string players, you know, this is not natural, and for woodwind and brass players, there are all kinds of extra, extra muscles that you have to work to make your instruments go that most people don't use. Uh, even singers have extra health concerns about keeping their voices intact and making sure that they're singing in the proper way to make sure that they're not accidentally injuring themselves. So, to this end, and in this light, I'd like to refer you to a friend of mine, a uh, former classmate of mine at the Eastman School of Music. Her name is uh, Kaylee Miller, and she has started a blog. She learned from uh, Carol Rodland at the Eastman School of Music, who is renowned for her approach to the student first and the instrument second. I remember I had one lesson with her while I was at Eastman, and in that lesson, I came in and I played the music that I had prepared for her and I think it took all of five minutes and then we put the instrument down and I didn't touch it again for the whole rest of the lesson and that was one of the best lessons that I had had that year. It was just a very interesting lesson and I learned so much from that lesson. And uh, Kaylee is a very intelligent person and she's very knowledgeable about this particular subject matter and so she along with some other colleagues of hers have started a blog. It's called the Musicians Health Collective. You can find it at www.musiciansheathcollective.com or if you just Google the three keywords, Musicians Health Collective, uh, the website is the first hit that comes up. And it's a really excellent, excellent website. It has lots of very varied content and it, approach, and it approaches all different kinds of music medicine and it teaches you about your body, about what muscles do what, and what a ligament is. If, you've never, if you never knew what a ligament is and what the difference is between a ligament and a muscle, this website has a blog, has a post that'll tell you that. Um, just very, very informed and knowledgeable posts. And it also has a resource center containing all kinds of materials to help you along your way in making sure that you're a healthy, sustainable musician. It has books on the Alexander Technique, uh, other kinds of resources, uh, just a whole ton of stuff which is really, really useful. And uh, I know Kaylee to be a very, you know, not only knowledgeable and intelligent, but also to be curious and to be very approachable. So if you see anything that's not covered on the uh, website or on the blog, I'm sure that if you were to contact her through the website's contact form and uh, raise your question, I'm sure that that's something that would be of interest to her. You know, because this uh, frontier of music, this frontier of music medicine, of playing healthily, is something that has really only come to the forefront within the last 50, 60 years or so, to my knowledge. So it's something that lots of new things are being discovered all the time, and chances are, if you have a question that has never been answered, there are hundreds of other musicians out there who have also never had that question answered. And this website is just a really great place to get those questions answered and to find out more really useful stuff about your body and how it interacts with your instrument and to really arm yourself with all of the knowledge that you're going to need to really take care of yourself and be able to play until you're 60 or 70 or 80. Because while most of us do harbor uh, hopes of retiring at some point, very few people I know intended to stop playing when they retire. So, if you want to keep on playing until you're 60, 70, 80, even 90 years old, 
uh, just make sure that you're taking care of yourself. And this website is a really great resource for that. So once again, this website is called the Musicians Health Collective, www.musicianshealthcollective.com, or you can just Google the three keywords and it'll be the first thing that comes up. Uh, go check it out and uh, have fun.